Welcome to Wellington Dam! Yo! G'day, welcome to another episode. Here we are at Wellington Dam in the southwest. Nice little weekend away. I'm actually with a guy called Mighty Overlander because um, I'm pretty excited to get away with him. Uh, another one of the ambassadors for Wild Trek Leisure. So just testing out some new gear um, that they've gave us. Um, I'll be honest with it. So they've gave us some products to test, see how they go. And yeah, hope you enjoy the episode. It's going to be the, one of those short and sweet episodes again. So a little bit of intro we can hear. I might give you a few updates as we go through. Um, just had a beautiful swim, which you'll see in a minute. And I'll give you a bit of a more of a view at the end. All right, stay tuned. Cheers. Good use of the Yeti. May as well tell you what I have in lunch. Having a bit of chicken, and a wrap, shallots with a sausage. Just chilling out for a little bit, then we're gonna go for a bit of a fish. But yeah, check out a few cars. Kim's here with his Y62. How cool is that little Jimmy? Hi, it means I'm not Charlotte and Lucas and Bronte are down there. Where? Down that way and I found like this pretty ever. And the water's actually quite nice here. I mean, you would like to come here. Hey legends, I couldn't really decide whether to put this footage in or not and I normally don't do any of this kind of stuff but I thought it was pretty important to raise. What the kids are talking about here is a group of people having a good time for celebrating Australia Day with long weekend and if anyone knows me I'm all for having a good time as well. But what they were doing while they were floating around um, all afternoon, they were like throwing their tins in the, in the dam. A hard solo was their choice to drink and they were all floating down to um, our campsite, I suppose, and the kids were picking it up, bringing it up to our campsite and chucking it in the bin. So like, you know, if you're doing this kind of stuff, this is why the, like, the dams are closing. You know, we can't camp at Harvey's now any, like, for a long time um, and they will continue to close or have designated um, areas to camp like Lake Kepwari and all that kind of stuff. And they won't be free. We're so lucky we can just go a couple of hours south of Perth and have free camping all over the place. Like, all those places will get closed down if we, um, you know, don't keep it tidy. Get, let's get back to the good stuff. Um, you'll see Charlotte do a stack in a minute. Cheers, legends. <laughs> That's silly. <laughs> some lights up it was a pretty good sleep yeah we're just coming through Wellington Dam now we're gonna go to honeymoon pool have a one more swim and then we'll head home see mum and Noah it's beautiful this drive Hey legends, just want to wrap up the video. Yeah, there wasn't much footage. I um, did a massive amateur 
uh, hour and this, after doing a night lapse last night, we forgot to turn it off night lapse this morning because with the GoPro I normally just turn it on by the top so some of that footage, if it's there, it, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and then, um, and then yeah, so this morning we went to Honeymoon Pool and like explored a little bit of Wellington Dam, it's so beautiful through there, you can book all Wellington Dam and those campgrounds uh, on the deep pool site but you normally have to book in a pretty far advance if you want a long weekend like this weekend. So let's do it, the 8P5. Uh, where we stayed, we stayed at on the Wellington Dam, it's absolutely free, um, which is pretty cool and a um, bit of a highlight I suppose, you know, like yeah, there's freshwater fishing, um, we did give it a go on, but you know, you've got to get into the nooks and crannies of, um, I've never, like I've had luck on Harvey Dam around this, uh, the sticks. So yeah, you can do freshwater fishing. There is marin around. Um, at the moment, you can marin fish. So you know you can try your luck at that. Um, and all those licenses that you do you need to pay for. And obviously, it's just a beautiful part of the South West Wellington Dam. Like you've got that massive mural. I'll chuck some footage up now. I love that shot of the old Wachina and the Nova. I love that coming across that Wellington Dam wall. And yeah, there's some also. There's all like barbecue scattered throughout. It's such a good uh, area to explore. And like, uh, yeah, heaps of campgrounds, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's about two hours south of Perth. There's, of course, uh, four driving tracks throughout the uh, dam around the edge, and like, it's pretty easier this time of year because it's all nice and dry. It's a little bit of fun. And then, yeah, I can't remember the name again. Uh, there, but like, right where Honey Moon Pool is, there's a beautiful, like, four drive track that kind of follows um, the Colic River. So, um, yeah, definitely if you're in that area and you want to a nice little four drive. It's only normally open through the summer season and it closes in the wet or in winter, I should say. Charlotte's having a nice little nap on the way home. Bit of a massive day yesterday, just played on the mud and all that kind of stuff. No TVs, no iPads. It's nice. So yeah, I'd just like to like thank um, Mighty Overlander Tony to inviting me. Um, if you're interested in like gymnies and like touring as well, um, yeah, check out his channel. I'll put his uh, I'll put his um, handle here. All right. I hope you enjoyed this little one, and we'll see you next time on Eight Feet Travels.